Okay, so let's start adding some Java classes. I'm gonna add Java classes under src main Java. There isn't a folder there, so I'm gonna just create one new. I will choose folder. And I'm gonna create src main. I'm gonna call this Java finish. Now, since this has already been marked as a source folder, it shows up like this. I'm just gonna click refresh. Now that I have a source folder, I can create Java classes. So I'm gonna create a resource first. Create a new class. I'm gonna choose the package arg, Karshik, Java brain, start, we call this rest. And uh, I'm gonna say my resource. finish. So what do I need to do to make a Java JAXRS resource? The first thing is a path annotation, right? I'm going to say test, import path from Java XWSRS path. I'm going to create a method here. So I'm going to say public string test method Just gonna return some string. Now I'm gonna annotate this with a get because I want this to return when a get method is called on this URL. And I'm gonna do produces. Media type dot text plain. I just want to return plain text here. Okay, so this is our resource, right? This is step one. Step two is to actually configure this to be a JAXRS application. What we did in the previous course was open web.xml and configure a sublet, and mapped it to a path, and all that stuff. Turns out we don't have to do that. So there is a way you can configure this using just Java. So I'm going to create a new class I'm gonna call this my REST API app. I'm just gonna call this my app. All right. This is where I tell Jersey how to create this new app. So I do that by extending a class called application. Now application is a class from Java X WSRS core. So I'm gonna finish. Now I don't have to implement any methods over here. So application kind of has all the methods implemented. You see here, I don't get an error when I'm extending this. No unimplemented methods. With this, I've told Jersey that this is a JAXRS application. As yeah, simple as that. Now, how do I map it to a root URL? If you remember, we had a web API prefix to all our resources, right? So we had a slash web API and that was specified in the web.xml. I can do that by using an annotation called application path. Now if I import this, it's a Java X WSRS application path. Now I can pass in a value here, which is going to be that prefix. Now let's say I do a web API. Now this means that our, so there are two things that's happening here. So one is I've defined an app which extends application, which tells Jersey that this is a JAXRS application. And I've annotated it with application path, which says any REST API, prefix it with web API. So what this application does by default is look at every resource, right? Every resource in your path, it finds my resource. So it exposes this at the path, web API slash test. Okay, so this is all you have to do. You don't need to mess around with web XML. Okay, so let's run this and verify that this works. I'm gonna right click, run as, run on server. I'm always gonna choose Tomcat 8. Restart the server. Now it's gonna load Hello World, which came with the artifacts. So if you expand uh, SRC main web app, there is index.html, that's what it's loading, but that's not what we are interested in. We are interested in the app context web API slash 
test. So I'm going to just access that web API slash test, hit enter, and there you go. We have a fully working JAXRS application without any XML configuration. Okay, so we have a resource here and we have an application here which maps all the resources in this project.